Uh, my initial connections with the river go back quite a ways. I've always liked to be out on the water, paddling, swimming, whatever. I got involved in Friends of the Car a little slowly. Back in the mid-90s, I was newsletter editor for the Kansas Canoe Association, and I interviewed Eileen Larson, who was one of the people that got Friends of the Car started, and about the, the problems they were having and were trying to overcome. And so she and I paddled down the car for about 10 miles while I interviewed her. And I became pretty interested in what Friends of the Call was doing. I was kind of aware of it before that, but she really clued me in. At the time, I was on the board of the Grand Canyon Private Boaters Association down in Arizona and it was taking up quite a bit of time. So it wasn't until a few years later when Laura Caldwell, who was riverkeeper at the time, got to me. And we, I paddled with Laura and some of her friends often enough. And she said, well, would you come on the board? And I said, as soon as my term at the GCPBA is over this time, uh, I'll do it. And so early in the 2000s, I came on the board and served about three terms. Early in the organization, it felt like we were the people standing out on the street throwing rocks at the windows of the people we were trying to impress. And it's not a good way to impress people, but at least it gets their attention. And Laura was pretty good about taking it from there uh, after Dave Murphy had done a nice job of riling those people up and getting, uh, getting some progress. Um, I was mostly interested at first in doing floats. Uh, Friends of the Call did a lot of floats, some big long ones at the beginning, and then day floats after that quite a bit. And paddling was my main draw at the time. So uh, any float they were doing, I, I volunteered for, and I soon became the, uh, the sweep guy. I'm not sure how that happened. I think it was because um, I wasn't a social butterfly that Laura and some of the others might have been. So I got to sweep. Uh, all, the, all the people that couldn't paddle or wouldn't paddle or were lily dippers, um, they were my charges back there at the end. I, I would say that as far as being out on the river, uh, I had a friend who used to tell me that uh, no trip is a memorable trip unless something goes wrong. And that's, that's actually pretty true. I, the good trips, there were lots of them, and there's so many I, I can't remember them all, but I can remember incidents from some of the trips that went wrong that, that stick with me and I can't get rid of.